Hey up everyone, Retro Rewind here, and yes, another video, another video, I keep coming back, don't I? Um, it's a collection video on the Atari, on the Atari, Mwah. my childhood favourite, I know I like the Master System, but yeah, Ma the Atari is a massive, massive, massive childhood memory, um, and quite a lot of the car um, collection, especially loose carts, are from my childhood. I do own a 2600 Junior. It's over there plugged into the TV. Um, I did own a Woody back in the day, but unfortunately it blew up and was replaced by the nice Slimline Junior. Um, I don't own a 2600 Plus yet, but I might have to get one. Just to see what the difference is between playing on the big CR TV and a HD TV. And what I love about them is you can use the original cartridges, the original games. So... I thought I'd do a video on my Atari collection. Um, I meant to have done this ages ago. I meant to have done each section of my games room before I did my games room. Like I said, I've done my collection for my NES, uh, Master System, Mega Drive, SNES. Um, the only things I've done is, I'm looking to, here to the right, is the Amstrad and the Atari. So, oh yeah, I did the N64. So, I thought let's sit down, because I'm sat down, and go through... The Atari collection. Like I said, most of the loose cards, I would say, I mean, just, ah, a, bit, a bit of a cheat, the inside of my cheat. Just about every single loose card in there by about maybe two or three are from my childhood. They are originally owned from childhood. None of the box games are from my childhood. And those cards, I think back in the day, you just end up getting loose cards and throwing away the boxes or whatever. So, start at the top, we have got Parker Brother collection. Not obviously a full collection, but quite a lot of Parker Brothers. And then I'll just go through them. Just pull them off the shelf, see what we've got. So you can see what I have. Yeah, right. So I jump in. The Parker games are should be in alphabetical order. The rest of the games aren't. They're not. I'm going to pull them off the shelf and stack them up to one side and reapply them. A later date. So you're not bored watching me put them back on. There will be some shines. Shiny stuff coming off these because a lot of these are in box protectors. Um, I've got to protect the cardboard. So first off and foremost is Action Fighter. And all these parking games are fully complete with a special insert and manual. And if you didn't know, this Action Fighter... Sorry, Action Fighter. Action Force. Action Force. Action Man. Comes with a little comic inside. So it's pretty cool. And we have got, I don't know how to pronounce this, Amada, Amada, Amada. Um, like I said, sorry, it's in a shiny box. But yeah, like I said, all fully complete. Um, next on the list is, oh, I left, I left a bit of the uh, packaging. How have I done that? I left a bit of the uh, protector on that. I'm going to have to pull that off and have a look at that. Anyway, uh Popeye. God, I should have took these out of the box. Thing is, though, I've actually squeezed these in here. They are tight. The uh, Parker games are a tight one of these box protectors for the um, Atari. So we've got Popeye, which I do own on loose cart from a child. I do know I've got a loose cart down there, that. So, um, got Cubit. I say, all fully complete, all with the special inners. I think all of them have got the... I think just about everyone's got the Parker catalogue in as well. Um, Reactor. Reactor. I like the box art. I know it's something special, but I just thought wow, that was pretty cool. We have got Sky Skippers, which my missus bought me for the Christmas Just Gone. So that was cool. Love the box art cover on this, and that is Spider-Man. Try to get it with no shine on. Which way do you do it with no shine on? So, yeah. And say, fully complete. Uh, we've got Star Wars Jedi Arena. And I believe I've got that on loose cart down there. Do you know what I have? It's just there. It's just there. I've got it on loose cart from childhood. So, yeah. And these are all really, they're really in, really, 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 in really nice condition, actually. Apart from the last one. Uh, Super Cobra, I own this as a child as well. I've still got the loose cart to this one. Try to think which way is best to no shine that way. That's a cool that, that's a cool box art as well. So 
And this is the worst condition um, one I've got. It looks like it's been um, rubbed a bit. So, yeah, fully complete. Do you know what? Two to Carmen. I don't think I've ever played this. Yeah, the box is a bit. The box is a bit worse for wear. Bit white edging and stuff, but fully complete. So that is all the Parker games, which is three, six, nine, ten. I've got ten Parker games. So there we go. Just to stack them up, ten Parker games. Yeah, ten Parker games. And they are dear and have been getting a lot dearer. I noticed that with the Atari games. Since the 2600 came out, everyone is doing videos on Atari 2600 stuff at the minute. People are buying more Atari stuff. And I've noticed more YouTubers are showing more Atari stuff. They're all getting into it, which is good. I, uh, You know, I think that's amazing that oh, Atari's getting some show, show and tell now. But it's not good that... Now I've finished buying from my system and other stuff that I was trying to buy a bit more for the Atari this year. Prices have gone up. So next is Joust. Um, fully boxed complete. I don't I don't tend to buy any unless they're fully boxed and complete um, normally. So I don't think any of these are missing anything. Childhood favourite. I know my dad loved this one as well. And that is Crystal Castle. And I own this on Loose Cart as well from my childhood. Fantastic game. Um, I got to play it on the... Um, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's an it's a, uh, arcade game and I got to play it at Berry, The arcade club at Berry, And it's quite similar, to be fair. It's, it's pretty good. Next one on the shelf is actually sealed. It's actually is sealed. And that is... Um, I could take it out. I could take them out quick, quick on this. Yeah, it's E.T. And it's sealed. I should really open this because it's starting to... I don't know, you can see. There's like an indentation there. It's starting to crush these pamphlets. These shrink wraps, after a time, uh, start crushing the boxes. So I should really take it out of that, unwrap it. But then you're like, oh, well, it's sealed and it's not sealed. Is it worth any different in price? And the reason I haven't opened it to play it is because I own it on loose car from a childhood. And a bit of a... Broken record, aren't I? Um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I said, fully complete. Um, oh, one of my favourites from my childhood and my dad's. Oh, we love, we were love sitting in the living room playing this game, Moon Patrol. If you've not played this game, I know James um, Import Retro, Retro Importer, Import Retro. I always get his name on, but James, who does the Import Retro show, whatever. I can never, I can always get his channel name mixed up. Import Retro Gamer, I'm sure it is. He's just on about this on his latest video because he's starting to buy um, Atari stuff now. He's got 2600. And I said to him, yeah, I love this. And one of the things I found with this was I got to play the arcade version at Berry Arcade Club. And I was disappointed. I actually thought... This, the 2600 version, was better than the arcade. Does it ever go that way? But I thought it was. Um, Galaxian. Is that how you spell it? Gal Galaxian. Galaxian. I'm sure you'll correct me. But don't diss me too much. I am dyslexic, so I do struggle with some of these strange words. So uh, I'm just going to throw that excuse out there. And this, I've got a loose card because this is um, a childhood game. And this, many hours, I really, really like that game. It's a fantastic game. There's a lot of great games on the Atari. And I think people today are starting to find this out now. They're 2600 plus out. Another one. Oh, Battlezone. Great game. And a lot of these games I've picked up boxes because I've got them on loose cart. And I just want uh, just so much um, nostalgia for them. I thought I'd get them boxed instead of buying different games. I should have just bought different games boxed technically since I've got loose carts. Um, you got to have your Super Breakout. Mint that is. That is really tidy. Some of these are really tidy com considering like 70s and 80s uh, cardboard boxes. It really surprises um, how they survive. And then we got classic Space Invaders. Um, I own this on Loose Car as well. I think Breakout I own a Loose Car. Um, now I had to get this just for the artwork. Just the artwork standalone on it is beautiful. And that is Superman. I just love that. It's not the best 
condition. I just saw one on eBay go really cheap the other day, actually. And I, I wish I bought it now because it looked mint. And it was really cheap. I should have bought it, but I already own it. And I thought, what's the point of buying it for another mint copy? Because mine's a bit... Got a stick on it. Sorry. But I own it. I've got it. It's in my collection. All good. Um, we've got Rampage. Great box art. Same front cover they use um, for the mass system, actually. And funny enough, I'm going to jump off screen quickly because I have got it. I know Marcus, Dad, Dad does gaming, won't like me jumping on screen. But obviously, there is a uh, Activision uh, mass system version. Oh, same. How about that? Same. So that's pretty cool. Um, arcade hit in what an arcade game that is. Oh, got some big pals there out of the way. Um, oh, I forgot about this. Right at the back there, look. We have a, an original boxed control stick. Standard joystick. Yeah, original. Yeah. I actually bought this on eBay uh, years ago. Years ago. And I was at work and all of a sudden some guy come up to my counter at work and goes like, um, do you know where Clint, is, Clint Sawyer is? And I was like, oh, that's me. He's like, oh, here you go. You bought this off on me, eBay. So, and the, my delivery address was my work address for parcels. So we, we just dropped off. He lived in Lincoln. How about that? Crazy. Didn't even know this. Um, next game is Desert Falcon. What we got? We have another Space Invaders. Because obviously, you got, can't have more than one Space Invaders. So I've got two variant box ones. And um, a loose card one down there. The reason I bought... I bought this... Did I buy this before? I think mean, I bought this before the blue one. The blue one I just saw cheap in um, Retro Hunter down in uh, Leon C. And I thought, I can't say no to a boxed Atari game. I don't see many other rounds. We have got Sprint Master. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little, I don't know if you can see, little, you know, race around, thing like that. I thought it was going to be a bit like a pole position, but it isn't. And then we got Off the Wall, which is basically um, a bit like a breakout, really. I don't know if you can see. I should have took these out of the boxes, out of the box protectors. I am sorry if the um, the shine is bad and you can't see it. Uh, oh, this is, this is another sealed game. Oh, God, look. See what I mean about the... Um, being sealed. Let me take this out and show you. This one's really badly. Uh, that's really badly crushed. I don't know if you can tell. It's you can because oh there you go. Look, you can see it's actually a lip. It's actually crushed. So uh, I should really undo these. Really, yeah. I should undo them and straight and iron them out. Give them a bit of two T ironing. So yeah. So double dunk, and that is obviously like I just showed you sealed. So. Uh, I need to, uh, I probably need to do a bit of an unpacking on this and unseal them all. Uh, what we got next? Is this sealed as well? It is. I think it is. I don't know. Let's get it out. And that is Tic Tac Clacks, it says on the back. Um, oh, it's sealed. Another one. This ain't crushed, really. It has got a little hole in it, so I wonder, because it's got a little hole in it, the air's getting out and it's not crushed as much, but um, yeah, Clacks. Which um, I didn't know was an arcade game. I really didn't. And I, um, I played on it at uh, Blackpool. I saw it in Blackpool. And I was like, oh, cool. It's an arcade. Who would have known? Obviously, a lot of these games come from arcades. And funny enough, where is it? I've got... Yeah. I didn't realise I'd done this. But there's a Falcon again. So I've got... Desert Falcon and Desert Falcon. So I've got two copies and um, and they're different on the back. So I might have to get rid of one of these, to be fair. Maybe James James needs this. Do you need a copy of this, James, if you're watching this? If you do, hello. Give me a shout. Stick in the post here. Uh, volleyball. She's sealed. What's me? We're buying sealed games. So, uh, yeah, Volleyball. Um, what have we got? Not the best condition, but pop position. Uh, 
I've got this on loose cart because I remember playing this as a kid, so I've definitely got this on loose cart. Oh, I've got, now they're all off the shelf. It's a lot more than I thought. And we have uh, Junior Pac-Man. Uh, last one on the shelf is Sealed. Is it Sealed? I think it is Sealed. I'm going to have to open all these games. Yeah, Sealed. And that is... Let's just, let's just get it out. Let's just get it out and show you. And that is, yeah, it's squat the box is squashing as well. And that is uh, real soccer. So it has this uh, hang tab on it. You can see it's got like a hang tab. You can uh, obviously where it was hung in the shop. So I'm, just, oh, I'm gonna have to open these. I really am because all the boxes are getting a bit, a bit squashed. Um, what else have we got? The piles. Um, oh, I think I've got two more here. Do you know what? I was looking on the app the other day. I didn't realise in the app it says I've got it as cartoony, but it's, I've actually got a box of it. Well, I nearly bought that the other day again. So we got Yard's Revenge. I need to update the app actually because I'm only showing that as cartridge. I nearly bought that box the other day actually. Yard's Revenge. And that's a cool game. I think a lot of people bang on about this being like one of the best Atari games out there. I actually think it's overrated. I'm saying it. I'm saying it now. I think it's overrated. It's a good game, but, you know. And then we've got Combat, which is obviously 27 video games. We've got Tank, Tank Pong. I say all about Combat. The Red Arrows has just flown over. Just here, then. Biplane, Invisible Tank, Jet Fighters. So, uh, yeah. There we go. It says 27 games, because technically it's five games with so many different settings. That's how you get here with Atari. Um, so that is all my boxed move them out of the way my boxed um games which is quite a lot really i don't know how many i've got there i don't know nine ten i don't know about 30 games i think there was there boxed and then down below if i move in here you can see some loose cards like i said 99 percent of these are definitely from my childhood and um top of the pile top of the pile Moon Patrol. Told you I had it. Again. Uh, India Jones. Which I already had. And uh, now this one. Is, this one. Uh, um, I'm sure I just showed you. I've got box. And that is. Um, Galaxia. I can't. Gallagher. 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 Galaxia. I can't say it. I really struggle with that word. Really struggle to say that. Sound like a goddamn idiot. But yeah. So. um yeah, like I said, play the hell out of that. This is a good one. Defender, I had a go on that in the arcade at, um, at Berry. That was quite cool playing on that. Sprint Master, I've got Sprint Master. There it is, look, Sprint Master Loose. Fucking, amount of loose cards I've got. Maybe I should let some go. Now, this is a game we played as a family and really enjoyed. And just hearing it just brings about floods of memory. And that is Jungle Book. Just, oh man, love playing that game. And oh, loose cards. Joust. Um, what else have we got? Another pile here. Like I said, I did have it. Asteroids. Um, Centipede. Oh, beautiful game. Really good on the 2600. And I had a sealed copy I showed you really of E.T. And that is from my childhood. And I'll tell you what. Like I said, Yards Revenge. Overrated. E.T. underrated. Too many people jump on the bandwagon and like, oh, it killed Atari. It didn't. It's a good game. I like it. I enjoy it. Fucking straw stuck on me or something. Um, Pac-Man. With a dodgy looking label. Uh, now this I want to get boxed. And it's Berserker. Great game. Great in the arcade. Very, very similar to the arcade, that. Cuba. The amount of games I've got. Fucking box, the same as loose car. Ah. Dig Dug. God, this video's going to go on forever. What are we in? 20 minutes in? Oh, God, I've got... Well, I didn't realise I had so many loose carts behind there. I've got more games than I thought he had. I was, talk, I was messaging James every day about it. I said, oh, he's got more... I was messaging him on his, on his YouTube video of his uh, pickups for his time. I said, he's got he's got more than me, but I don't need to do a recount. Um, Adventure. Now, this game, this is from a childhood. This game to buy now is ridiculously priced thanks to that movie, Ready Player One. Gets mentioned in a movie. 
want more money for it. There you go, like I said, there's my Crystal Castle from back in the day. Um, pole position. Battle zone. Phoenix. I really do need to go for my app and update it. Oh, look, look, I've got a loose car. Yars Revenge. Oh, I think this one was my dad's favourite. Yeah, this is definitely my dad's favourite. I said Moon Patrol, I think it was up there, but this was definitely his favourite. He loved, loved to play that, and that's Missile Command. Oh, he loved playing that. Oh, great memories. Miss um, Pac Man. What else have we got hiding under here? Two Star Wars ones here. We've got um, Emperor Strikes Back. Jedi Arena. God, I, oh, there's loads of pack. I can't believe how many's down there. I definitely need a recamp. Recamp? Recount. Uh, Rampage, which I've got boxed. Solar Fox. Oh, ha, ha. the skills of this game. I need a better car, but it's from Child of Pitfall. Of jumping and landing on the crocodile's head. So you land on the eyes. So the mouth still opens, but you land on the eyes. You jump and land on the eyes. The skill level of getting that right over the years. Oh, here we go. Look, Action Force. Maybe I should sell some of these loose carts since I've got them boxed. Uh, Dragonfire. Uh, Star Gunner. Try to get to zoom. Focus, but I think he's focusing on me. Uh, an old and dirty 1983 Popeye. Is that it? Oh my god, there is pile. Oh, no, there's more under here. Jesus Christ, how many games do you need? Right, got it boxed. Super Cobra. I might have to go through these doubles and uh, hit um, James up, see if he needs any. Fast food, which is a which is a really weird game, actually. Just eating loads of food on the screen. Um, you got Ram It. Yeah, Ram It. Now, this is good. I want this box. It's, oh, these next two games I want box, And I missed out on one, and I'm well peed off. Um, Kung Fu Master. Good game. I want that boxed. And Commando. Now, Commando, the box on it is... Brilliant, and I nearly had a chance to pick one up at the um, Black County, um, Black Country um, gaming market, and I should have picked it up, and I didn't. And it's one you never see. You hardly ever see it, and it always goes for good money. So, and I want it because of the box art. We have um, Haunted House. I think are coming out clear, and then, oh yeah, because I've already got this earlier. Combat, which I think everyone owned back in the day. I like this one. Skydiver. I remember playing that. That's a good one. Skydiver. Uh, <laughs> he's always beating my dad at this. Um, Outlaw. It's a great game. Just talking about this collection just brings back so many childhood memories of my family. It's just amazing. And yeah, Space Invader. Another variant. How many variants do you need? Uh, basketball. Yeah, I remember that like that. It goes well. Um, obviously, Stella Breakout. Um, is that it? That's got to be it under there. What else is that? I've got hiding under here. Oh, I remember getting this when it came out. It's been under there for ages. So it was the um, the handheld they brought out. Is it the Blaze they called it? Is it Blaze? Yeah, Blaze. Yeah, the Atari Blaze with 50 games. And, uh, yeah, I bought that when it first came out. I think it's worth nothing now. So, obviously, I paid for it when it got released. Oh, I've got some manuals for... got a couple of manuals in here for Dig Dug and... I think Miss Pac-Man, if I remember rightly. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man and Dig Dug uh, manuals. So, uh, yeah. Got some cool art card work that come with the, come with the Blaze. Look at that. Very cool. Um, so yeah, that, that is my Atari, yeah, there it is, the Atari section, that's it, that's all of them, 
that is my collection of Atari games. So um, what can I say? Just, um, yeah, childhood memories flooding back right now, swirling around my head. And I just mad, mad, mad love for the Atari. And uh, my favourite games like Missile Command, Moon Patrol, uh, Centipede, Crystal Castle. Just oh, just games like that. I used to love pop, uh, pop, um, Space Invaders, Pole Position, that kind of thing. Just so many great games on the 2600 and i'm so happy that people have picked up the 2600 plus and are delving into the collection of atari because there are some real good games and it brings back so much nostalgia and they are so so good to play and i know they don't stand up alone compared to like a ps5 or xbox whatever gen they're on but they are so there's so many great games for the atari so if you've not played an atari i suggest having to go um, emulate them if you can there's some real corkers out there and like i said get emotional an hour about this because it just brings back so much family memory and uh yeah brilliant so yeah um brilliant thanks very much if you stayed till the end and watched all this i really do appreciate it that was my atari collection you've been watching retro rewind and i appreciate you coming by and stopping by and all that and yeah check out atari if you haven't thanks very much see you later oh are you popping in? I oh, was just about to just say bye. Hello. I was just just showing them all my Atari collection. Money. Oh, you got some money. Money for Atari games. Yeah. You're going to say bye. Bye. Wait. She's gone. <laughs>